Could have been looking to get a third successive victory against Sheffield Wednesday. Here's Dowsgaard just outside the penalty area. Lovely ball to Marcondes. Marcondes cuts it back across. Oh, and Watkins was so nearly there. Sheffield Wednesday managed to clear, but a good fast start for Brentford. Sheffield Wednesday have not really been in yeah, uh, Brentford's half Really good yet. play there. We've got the throw in and the good, it, good interplay between um, midfield pair and, as they come over to switch the play over to Dalsgaard, who sent the, sends the left winger for, for Tia and Biscuits. And, uh, let's say, slipped Brian in, um, Emmy and sorry, who made a good pass and a good run, and it was unfortunate uh, early couldn't get the end of it. Yes, Norgaard's done well. Still with the ball, Norgaard. Led with the penalty area. Drives the ball across Watkins! Oh! Hits the ball! Lucky Ollie Watkins, brilliant move from Brentford, set up there by Norgard, a cheeky ball into the box, and there was Ollie Watkins six yards out, wrapped his foot around it, made good contact, it rattled the bar and came out. Brentford get a throw, Bannon intercepts, chance for Bannon to clear it. Up towards uh, Fletcher. Ah, Fletcher. Julian, no oh. need to foul. It's the most frustrating thing in the world. We're suffocating the life out of Sheffield Wednesday. They can't get out, and then you just give a needless foul away. Yeah, it's Thomas Frank has just said that to Jean Vier. No, just. Uh, I understand being on the front yeah. foot and aggressive, but come on, don't take them. Don't take the pressure off. Leave them in there, suffocate them. They couldn't get themselves out of the squad. So, uh, yeah, he's been great on the pitch, but he's also very good off the pitch. Yes. Uh, De Silva, who's come deep, nice little Great play. return pass there from Norgard to him, in his stride, De Silva still coming forward, he's got Ben Rama away on his left, lovely ball to Ben Rama, chance here for oh. Brentford's played across, De Silva! Yeah! That's the goal Brentford deserve, that's his seventh of the season, Josh De Silva back on form, back in the goals. Top work, it come from Brentford's half, a little lovely little one-two with Christian Norgard, and then Josh shows what he's got, his athleticism, his desire to get into the opposition box, drove the ball 50 yards, lovely little through ball to Saeed, and to be honest, with Saeed's quality, he has a poor cross, he had three or four options to pick out, and he's put it into, around the goalkeeper's arms, he's parried it out, only to the feet of Josh Silva, who, who say, like I say, put a side foot and somehow got through the goalkeeper, but it all come from the play in the own half, with a one-two with Christian in Norgard, he's decided to drive at the defence and, say, get himself into the box. Justice has been done there. Brentford well worthy of the 1-0 lead and great play by Norgard and De Silva with a bit of help from Ben Rama. Yeah, terrific uh, finish from Josh De Silva. Just passed it into the far corner, made sure he made good connection and Brentford have got the start they deserve. The crowd... It's surprising, really, how long he hasn't scored for, especially yeah. with, the, say, the left foot that he's got. Um, but that's a... Here's Murphy, chance to cross this end of the box, and Raya had to be careful there at the near post, did very, very well. They're anticipating the ball across the six-yard box, but he spotted uh, a little gap there on the left-hand side, and Raya, well, he did well to put that behind for a corner. A Best arm once more. It's whipped in, and there's a play oh. and that was heading for the back of the net. And uh, it here's Sheffield Wednesday play near the line. Watkins nearly goes down in the box there. Brentford have won it back. Of Waymo. Now he's Marcondes. Chance for him to shoot. What a goal! Oh, what a goal by Marcondes. That's his first league goal for the Bees. And he'll never, ever get a better one than that. Uh, 17 minutes gone. It's Brentford 2, Sheffield Wednesday 0. This one, an absolute screamer from Emiliano Marcondes. Fantastic, fantastic. I said we were mentioned at the beginning of the show about getting that confidence and he started the game very well. Even the delivery from the corner there onto Brian said was a fantastic ball. That's two in two in this game so far and it's come out and he, you can see that he felt confident because he's took the shot which a lot of players in, in players that have been in that team wouldn't take and he's took it and he's absolutely hit a pearler into the top corner. His confidence like Josh's now should be through the roof. That showed real commitment from Brentford to win that ball back after it had been cleared from the goal mouth and exquisite, exquisite skill from Emiliano. Yeah, fantastic goal. He scored a, a cracker, of course, in the cup. Here's Mbwemo, just on the edge of the penalty area to De Silva. Back to Mbwemo again, just left the ball behind there, but Ooh. a lovely ball into the box. Here's Dalsgaard, chance for Dalsgaard! Oh. Oh, Save there with his feet by Dawson. As assured as what Armstrong was a couple of weeks ago. Here's uh, Norgard to top play. Lovely oh. ball through the centre. There is Mbwemo coming through. Mbwemo, chance for three. It is three! Fourteen for the season from Brian and Buemo. But what about that ball from Emiliano Marcondes to set him up? It could be a route here this afternoon. It's Brentford 3, Sheffield Wednesday 0.
That is a star in playing out from the back. That is build-up play from its greatest. That is four passes, and the ball is in the back of the net. We've gone out, we've gone to the centre half. We found Henrik. Uh, sorry, Christian, who's then Emiliano's picked up a fantastic position in the blind spot of Barry Bannon, who obviously couldn't see him on his left shoulder and took it in two touches, one on his back foot on the half turn and slipped that ball in a straight line with a fantastic diagonal run from Brian, who was through and goal and he was cool as you like. Exactly what we asked from um, from Dalsgaard to finish wise in a similar position, what we wanted, and just a cool pass into the corner, and that is top draw playing out from the back. Delicious ball from Marcondes and an exquisite finish from Brian Mbemo. Fantastic. 3 0. Stretches the pitch. Oh, there's uh, Mbemo, lovely ball there through. There Norgard, oh. Norgard through the centre to Watkins. Watkins, three players round him. Holds it up for Ben Rama. Ben Rama in the penalty area. And oh. it's, just wide. it's gone for the far left corner and he's dragged it a yard wide. Lovely play there by Brentford. Norgard with the ball through to Watkins. Watkins holds it up nicely, brings in his strike partner, Ben Rama. Perfect ball into his feet, and he tried to pass it into the far corner, just dragged it across the side of goal. Brentford very, very close to going 4-0 up at the start of the second half. Make our goal difference even more impressive. Here's, Here we go, that's exactly the, the pockets Norgard. I spoke about. The, 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 the area of space drew that middle of the park now. The midfield two simply can't cover it on their own. Well, Brentford have done well here. Rico Henry charging into the box, fires the ball across, oh. and there's Embuemo straight. Stretching, wraps his foot around it, but the ball loops up high. Chance for him to show his pace. And Buema coming back to a challenge, oh. but uh, he's done well there, Harris. He did very well indeed. Great, great catch by David Weyer. A little bit too close to him for some fans. Comfort. That's but, the pocket. Uh, he knew what he was doing. That's the pocket we're talking about. La, lovely the little turn there by Ben Rama. Ben Rama. He's got Buema on the right hand side. He's into to seal. Instead, just for to seal. Makes yeah. it four. He's got his second of the afternoon. Another very patient build-up by Brentford. It's now four goals to nil as Josh De Silva just passes it into the far corner with that cultured left boot of his. It's Brentford four, Sheffield Wednesday nil. I wouldn't want to say I told you so, but I told you so. Keeping the ball, keeping it patient, taking the momentum out of Sheffield Wednesday's play, keeping the ball across the across the pitch, switching the play. It's always going to be difficult for the midfield two of Sheffield Wednesday to deal with the three. Brentford players and, and that they were helping McCondis picked it up in that pocket that we mentioned about and giving it into Saeed and the, the midfield two of Sheffield Wednesday can just not contain when you switch it and switch it again you just can't keep coming over and over great little play good little interplay I think Saeed played that into Josh expecting a 1-2 but Josh's fantastic body shape has created that little half turn scenario where he's got himself through one on one and a top finish has been exceptional um, and it, it's really good there to see Christian Norgard get a breather yeah. he's been in the walking wounded the last few weeks this guy has played through anything he's been a real real leader a true gent off the pitch and he's been like say a top signing for me top three player of the year this season with, say, without doubt it's really good to see him get a breather yeah no, he's uh, been brilliant this afternoon and uh, Baptiste comes on and now we're seeing Fosu come on for Bryant and Buemo. Scored the crucial third goal today that made you felt the game safe. Big hug with Fosu. Big hug with his manager. Nice words there, no doubt, from uh, Thomas Frank. Would be very, very pleased with uh, Bryant and Buemo. Downs guard looking for options. Head down oh. himself and flicks the ball to the right hand side. Lovely ball through to uh, Fosu again. Here's Ben Rama. Ben Rama trying to slide it back towards. Yeah. Baptiste, that's the fifth. What a good goal. Fosso with it. That's his first goal for the Bees. Drew the keeper, Cameron. Dawson couldn't quite see it. And he's gone back into that far corner just inside the far post. It has been a five star performance. It's five goals on the board. Brentford five, Sheffield Wednesday nil. Yeah, no, really pleased with Tariq coming in. He's been a good guy coming in. The, the training ground works hard every day. Obviously, limited chances due to the, the form of the front three, but he's come on there and say a fantastic finish through the centre half's legs. But you just look at Sheffield Wednesday there. They look at TP Straw, hands on hips, heads on the ground. So they, they stop tracking their runners, they look like they've gave up the ghost and they say you can't do that at Griffin Park because you'll get hit like Lewin did for seven if they carry on. Exquisite build-up and a class finish. Absolutely, and uh, that crowns off his week. International call-up.
then he gets his goal. And it was Ben Rama who just uh, played into his path, but it was a good finish, Sam. Yeah, I loved the into finish the on, on his weaker side, left foot. Um, can post finish through the, the centre half's legs, and how many times you see them go through defenders' legs that end up in goals? But yeah, top defending by Ethan now. They can see they really want his clean sheet, so hopefully the guys can see it out and get a 5 0 win. Here comes uh, Bannon, floats it to the far post. A powerful header comes down but goes wide. It's going to be a goal kick. No, it won't. That's the end of the game. Keith Stroud blows the final whistle. Brentford have won here by five goals to nil against Sheffield Wednesday. They made the fast start, raced into a three-goal lead at half-time, added a couple more in the second half. In a chance to rest the players late on as well. There's some wonderful performances all round. Brentford back to winning ways, just what the fans wanted to see, and sets them up very well ahead of the big derby game next week.